Hey everyone, Drew here back again at VCS 2017 at the IM3 booth. booth. I'm joined by Shay. This time she's a physician's assistant, but you have your own practice in Beverly Hills, right? Yes, I do. I have a non-surgical anti-aging practice in Beautiful. Beverly Hills. Yep, sweet. right in the heart of town. Sweet, sweet. So tell me a little bit about your practice. What are you guys specializing in? Specialize in non-surgical anti-aging, so Botox, fillers, okay. lasers, skin tightening, body contouring. Great, awesome. So we're here at VCS. I think it's year 13 or 14 at VCS. Have you been here before? I've been coming every year probably since it started. You're kidding me. Yeah, okay, so same. great. So tell me what you like about this conference compared to other conferences that you've attended. This conference is great because it's um, international, global, all the best plastics and cosmetic surgeons fly yeah. in from all over. We have from India, we have Europe, everywhere. And we all come together. We share ideas. Um, we compare patient outcomes, before and afters, different technological modalities, and you know the latest and greatest, basically what's going on, in, you know, in the aesthetic world. Great, great. So, are there any sessions that you've attended so far? Any speakers that you've seen? Stuff you that you've learned that you're interested in bringing back to your practice? Sure. I mean, I always go to these conferences and um, I always come home with more knowledge, um, things that I might change or do differently. Right. You know, it could be post-treatment, post-care, pre-treatment, um, before procedures, after procedures. And, you know, it's really a place where we all come together and, you know, share what we've learned, what's working, what's not. And it's really beneficial for everybody. We all learn together. Great. So have you been in the, in the exhibit halls? Are there any new treatments or devices that kind of piqued your interest? Yeah, I mean, um, again, the latest and greatest technology is out in that exhi you know, uh, exhibit, exhibition hall. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, um, you know, radio frequency now with microneedling, um, a lot of the skin tightening devices, latest and greatest on that. Yeah. Um, even skin care, latest and greatest with growth factors, yeah. things like that, and how to apply them, you know, back in the practice. So where do you see it? This is Vegas cosmetic surgery and cosmetic surgery is you know obviously it's surgical and it's non-surgical it, it seems like that non-surgical part of it's becoming almost bigger it is there's been a huge growth yeah. in non-surgical procedures and i think pa patients are really preferring to go that direction and put off surgery there's also a lot of combination therapy going on now but I think the goal is to push off surgery as much as possible. And with all the new technology out there, we really are able to push, you know, the, the facelift patient that might have been starting at age 45, 50, we can push them off a little bit. And Beautiful. they're really happy with results, less scarring, less yeah. downtime. Less pain. Less pain, <laughs> not true. But Beautiful. downtime is huge. In Beverly yeah. Hills where I practice, Patients don't want, you know, 10 days of downtime. They right. want to have a procedure on Friday, be back at the office on Monday. Yeah, that's inc it's incredible how the, the technology is allowing doctors to do stuff like that. It really is. It's been a huge uh, advancement. I mean, I've yeah. been in this industry, I've been practicing since 1998, but okay. in the last 10 years, the technology has just skyrocketed. What do you think, in, in another 10 years, will there... Will people even be using scalpels anymore? You know what? I wonder, <laughs> and that's a really good question because yeah. as each year goes on and on, yeah. there's less and less. You can see the growth in the non-surgical uh, modalities out right, there. Right, right. Beautiful. All right, let me ask you a few questions about yourself just to get to know you a little more. Why did you get into becoming a physician's uh, assistant, or why did you open up your own practice, actually? Sure. Well, I have a passion for making women, and I'm going to add men into that as well, yeah. looking and feeling their best. I'm extremely passionate about it. I feel like if you look and feel your best, you'll radiate different energy in the world. And so little tweaks, I mean, you always want to keep people looking natural. Um, I, I think you radiate different energy. You excel more in your in your career, yeah. in your you know, in your relationships. Yeah. So, what do you love most about your job? Is it is it being able to do that? I would say that every person that walks through my door walks out feeling better. Yeah. And it's it's to me that's the most rewarding part. That's gotta be a good feeling. Cool. What were you like in high school? I was the geek. Were you? Okay. <laughs> and I still am. That's why I've been up since 7 a.m. attending lectures. <laughs> and um, I'm the only one who's in Vegas, not really enjoying Vegas, but really, you know, I have a thirst for knowledge yeah. and I love learning. And I, I go to every lecture. I sit in the front and I take notes. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's great. That's why you have a successful practice. Thank you. Uh, okay. Um, let's ask you one more question here. What do we got? Any unique talents outside of obviously what you do well, for work? Well, 
let me tell you, my talent, at least personally, um, is that I'm known as the Beverly Hills Sculptress. So okay. basically what I do is I sculpt faces all day with the use of uh, Botox and fillers. And I literally have become an artist. Yeah. And so I'm known in the community as the Beverly Hills Sculptress. Beautiful. And it's become an art. It's, yeah, yeah, it's an absolutely. art. Absolutely. Yeah. I like it. Cool. All right, last question. Sure. Spirit animal. If you can be any kind of animal, what animal would you be? Spirit animal. Mm, I would love to be a unicorn. <laughs> oh, that's the best answer. No one's ever said that. That's so good. They're beautiful. They fly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, amazing yeah. creatures. I want to be right? a unicorn too. I was before this. I was choosing to be a dog, but I'm changing. I want to be a unicorn. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks, Shay. Thanks for joining us. I Thank really appreciate it. Me. It was good to get to know you and have a good Thank rest you. of your show. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You, you too.